हेलो फ्रेंड्स वेलकम टू माय यूट्यूब चैनल माय नेम इज़ सोफिया गोयल एंड वेलकम टू द नेक्स्ट पार्ट ऑफ आर एच टी एम एल सी एस एस इंटरव्यू क्वेश्चन सीरीज और यू कैन कॉल इट सी एस एस इंटरव्यू क्वेश्चन सीरीज पार्ट वन ओके एंड बिफोर स्टार्टिंग फ्रेंड्स प्लीज सब्सक्राइब टू द चैनल एंड प्लीज़ वॉच दिस वीडियो कम्प्लीटली बिकॉज आई ट्रेन टू कीप टेलिंग स्टफ बिटवीन द इंटरव्यू क्वेश्चन एंड सो आई डोंट वॉन्ट यू टू मिस इट बेसिकली सो प्लीज वॉच द कम्प्लीट वीडियो डोंट स्किप एनी Okay, so uh, let's begin. But friends, uh, before starting, I would like to you know discuss something with you guys. Is that uh, you know like as I have told you in the previous video, with if you have watched about the HTML interview questions, is that uh, uh, you know HTML is not asked that much in an interview. Uh, same goes with CSS. If you are uh, looking for a, a React developer interview or for Angular developer interview or for a full stack developer interview. uh css is not as much there is not that much weightage there but again you know with when we start learning these advanced concept we try to you know keep forgetting about uh, css and html basics right and uh, like you know we can use it we can do that do it we can do anything that we want to do and uh, sometimes you know we do google and uh, uh, make our work done but in interview you know the differences and the basics are asked and sometimes you know we we just miss it out there so that is the stuff and uh, we are also not much prepared about these things in the interviews like we we are mostly like uh, css ko to kon hi puchne wala people will be asking about javascript and and this framework only and the bigger concepts and the deeper stuff so we you know just go into that and you know keep forgetting about css and of course with these frameworks like material bootstrap react strap or whatever you are using tailwind or a lot of stuff is out there we especially you know just forget everything about it so yeah i would uh, like really like to tell you that please stick to the basics uh, please try to learn more and more about it and uh, in this video you might find the questions uh, really simple uh, but you know these questions are asked actually asked in the interviews but of course they are not asked much but there could be i for me like i think there could be two type of people who ask it first are the ones who are really obsessed with you knowing each and everything in front end like if the person is taking a front end interview they really want you to know html css javascript uh, react and maybe read a story book whatever is there they just want you to know each and everything especially the basic stuff and the second kind of people are there uh, in the interviews like there are some companies which ask them to rate the candidate on the basis of each and every technology so there it becomes mandatory to judge you on the basis of everything and it has happened to me as well i was not willing to ask css questions but i had to rate the person so in the end of the interview what used to happen is like i used to ask two three questions of html and two three questions of css but uh, the thing is these becomes a deciding factors then because if you fail in that or if you are not able to tell these very basic questions there and if you have done excel in the whole interview you will be rejected for sure so uh, you know in these questions they could look really simple to you but i would really request you to please go through each and every of these questions and feel free to pause the video in between and think about the answer like whether you know it properly or not and i will also tell you about you know in between one or two questions will be there i'll tell you like what is our thought process and mentality with that question and how do we mess up with that question in the interview eventually okay so let's begin with the first question the first question is very basic and very simple explain the box model like what is the box model how does it work okay uh, and then there could be a follow up question the interview could tell you about like there is a div with this height and width and there is this padding on this this margin on this and then there is this border there so what will be the total space that this div is occupying and another question could be is outline a part of box model is border a part of box model okay the next question is explain our different position properties this is a this is a highly common as interview question like everyone is ask, asking it everyone ask it like what are the different position properties and even if you manage to tell it somehow then there could be different different questions like uh, different type of questions like what is the difference between position relative and absolute uh, what is the difference between fixed and sticky or it could be something like if you want an element to stick on the page even if the page scrolls how you are going to do it so you know there could be different questions around it the next question is how do you hide an element on the screen using css okay 
so as most of you might know there are two answers display none and visibility hidden okay but then the next follow up question that comes is what is the difference between display none and visibility hidden okay the next question is explain the difference between display inline block and inline block again this is a very much asked question now i'll tell you like how we mess up in these kind of questions as i was talking in the beginning of the video so what happens with most of us is uh, what we do is we suppose we have put a display property there as per our understanding and it is not working what we do is we go to the developer tools we try to change it to maybe like some of you might know about inline and block but most of the people are confused with inline block so what they try to do is they will just you know try to put the display property that works they they'll do like first they'll do inline then they'll do block then they'll do inline block and then they're okay inline block is working this is fine let's go with it so there we miss the difference eventually okay so uh, we know to differ know the difference very clearly right uh the next question is what are pseudo elements and pseudo classes in css so you know with the colon and the double colons we write the stuff so that that is the pseudo element and pseudo classes but we should know the use of it and like what is that exactly okay next question is what are different type of css selectors okay uh then if you can tell a few obviously everybody cannot remember all of them then there could be like these follow up questions like uh how do you select uh Uh, an immediate sibling of a div element or a, a p tag which is a immediate sibling of div or how can you select all the p's which are uh, all the para tags which are the child of that div element so you know in this way questions could be asked to you the next question is this question friends is very important if you are giving interview from a designer perspective like if you will be doing more of the css stuff okay so this is like what is specificity and how to calculate it okay so uh, you if you know css you must have heard about specificity maybe you know it you don't know the name okay uh, again uh, there could be a related question to this like uh, there is a div which has a id so and so the id has the background color set as green okay then there is a class the class has a background color set to blue and the div itself has a background color set to yellow so now what will be the background color of the div eventually so the answer is decided with the help of specificity okay so we need to know about it the next question is uh, what are sprite images and what is the benefit of using them so this could be a part of uh, uh, you know improving the performance of the site as well so you need to know this stuff if you are willing to improve the performance of the website and uh, sprite images are really helpful so you know how it is created and how it is used is is important okay uh, the next question is tell some properties of grid and flex box now this is a part of css3 so people tend to ask about is because they want to know and uh, why just the properties are asked is like they could have asked about some specific property is because like if you are saying you know it or you have read it they just want to know like whether you actually know it or not so that's why they would like to ask about a bit about it maybe they don't even ask any follow up question on that but they will just ask about some properties of this okay the next question is how to do responsive web designing with css so in the html series i have already told you like there could be a question what is responsive web design now this can be achieved using css so how it can be achieved what can we do to uh, make a page responsive using css fine the next question is what are the different uh, media breakpoints uh, for different devices okay so maybe you can check out the bootstrap breakpoint so you can just learn about the basic breakpoints uh, which could be there for mobiles and ipads and ipads pro and desktop and desktop and bigger like th this this could be a sample breakdown of different different uh, breakpoints there that can be used okay the next question is tell me uh, about some new features in css3 so as i have told you already flexbox and grid are there and there could be some other features which you can tell again this is just you know to know if if you have uh, worked on css3 or not okay uh, the next difference between uh, next question is the difference between last child and last of type selector okay uh, it could be like nth type and nth of type selector as well like you know both questions are kind of same just the last and nth are different there and the uses is different for that but it could be some question the next question is uh, what is bem methodology like block element modifier methodology okay 
So this is exactly not a part of CSS. This is used in preprocessors like uh, CES or SCSS. But uh, people try to ask it. This is not even exactly related to, to CSS. This is related to the naming of classes in HTML. Okay. So uh, this is a methodology that we should follow. But this is not a part of technology. This is a part of writing a neat and clean code. Okay. So but still people ask it. So I've covered it there. Uh, the next question could be what is the difference between M and REM, EM and REM, REM. So this is a unit for defining the sizes and uh, this is again very useful for writing some, uh, you know, common uh, CSS or uh, to make it more responsive and it is really good to be used with preprocessors. Uh, so that's why it would be better if you know about it, like it, it will be like something extra in your hand. So yeah, uh, friends, that's it about today's video. These were the questions that I was willing to tell you. In the next video, uh, we will be having the questions which are like some a bit more complex questions will be there and uh, some practical questions will also be there that I will tell you. So till then, if you have found this helpful, please like it, please share with your friends and if you have anything else, please tell me in the comment section and please subscribe the channel. Till then, uh, see you in the next video. Bye-bye.